I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can easily be arranged. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I feel a bit guilty. Once again, the sweet innocent child. Festus. There you are. I was told to come see you. Sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. That I need to kill him and take on his identity. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. So you don't even know who the gourmet is? That's absolutely wonderful. Don't be so petulant. <laughs> In my uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markov. It would seem he's the cook. And this Anton Varan knows the Gourmet's true identity. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is, and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. <laughs> Loose ends and all that. Of Next, course. You'll have to... Are you still paying attention? I am. Please, continue. Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more? You need to get his writ of passage, so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. All right. But before I go, I have more questions. What else can you tell me about the gourmet? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and you've already taken care of him. Yes. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's oh, you mean in that undoing. House during the thunderstorm? And tell me about this cookbook. Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the grounds. You know, that's too much information, Festus. So the gourmet is in Skyrim. Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart kept the gourmet around, in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion, somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Of course. There's nothing more valuable than freedom. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. Tell me, sister, are the stories true? Ah, you must mean my little adventure on the ship. Hmm. That's I'm all they do is swap tales all day. Hiding inside the body of a mammoth. Bloody brilliant.
All right, it's time for me to be off to question Anton Varan to find the whereabouts of the Gourmet. Hear this from me. We've uncovered a plot to kill the Emperor and get better. The ringleader? One of the Emperor's own elite guard. Really? That's interesting. Was it Gaius Morrow? <laughs> Thalmor still on patrol. Ulfric Stormcloak, the Rifle High King? <laughs> what a laugh. You there. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. I know who you are, Anton, and where you're from. Who are you? What do you want? The Gourmet. Who is he? Where is he? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can easily be arranged. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagog Gronolob. He's an orc. What? The Gourmet's an orc. Balagog. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Of course. Thank you. Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Yes. Imagine that. Please, please, just let me be. Of course. Scissors take you.
Hmm. Well, my cooking skills have increased. Now, let me see about these witnesses out here. you like to know. All right, then, it would seem that my work here is done. <laughs> Next stop is the Night Gate Inn. Well, that was certainly a faster journey than I had anticipated. Thank you, Shadow Mirror. See if we can't find the gourmet. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Need a room? Or maybe just some mead? Ah, hello there, traveler. Come Hello. to the night gate for food or lodging. Anything you need, just holler. There's nothing at the moment. I want to look around. I'm looking for someone. I think he might be a guest here. this him just walking about <laughs> all right here it is the writ of passage secrets of the gourmet seem to be able to lift him.
human body. Humanoid. With the spell. This is quite unfortunate. I can't move him at all. Somebody's just going to have to discover the body. Done all I can. He has the sanctuary talking. You must be talking about the caravan. All right, Festus. I've got good news and bad news. Oh, the prodigal you murderer returns. And the gourmet? He's dead, but there's a complication. Good, good. And you've got the writ of passage too, I see. So there's that. I also received word from Markarth. It would seem Anton Varan has suffered an untimely fate as well. <laughs> Good. But unfortunately, that inn is abuzz with the news of somebody killing one of their guests. What? Hiding the body was too much for you to handle? Apparently ah, so. Useless. Here's your gold. Now go see Astrid. Time to move against the Emperor has finally come. Sithis help us all. <laughs> and I'm sure Sithis will. All right. The time is at hand. The death of the Emperor. And the revelation of the Dragonborn. <laughs> Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Well, one last thing before I... go after the Emperor. <laughs> Something different about Vader. you. I can tell. Hope really? you ain't here to cause trouble. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Good. I'm looking for work. Have you got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Hmm. Kill or capture the bandit leader located at Orphan's Tear. Until next time. All right. It's good practice. Let's see where Orphan's Tear is located. Alright, here we are. Orphan's Tear. It's that castle over there. Interesting. Alright. Shadow Mirror. Oh, wait, can I tell you to stay, hold, whatever? There, wait. Oh, what, what's going on?
All right. Try to wait here if you can. I have a bandit leader to kill. Just an, yep, another one. Looks like the henchmen have already been killed. Could have been by me. So there's another leader here. Oh, disappointed I was looking for something more challenging. Well, I suppose this lock is going to be challenging enough. I swear, I don't know why. These locks give me so much trouble. And the master has increased my security to 100 and I still can't open these locks. Oh boy. Yeah. in here sleeping during the middle of the day. Assassinate someone in their sleep with magic. Oh, I need to take his head. There. Oh, look, an ebony bow. And I'll take that. All right. Looks like I'm going back to Solitude to talk to Falk. Wait a minute, Shadowmere, what are you... All right. Please don't come inside the palace. The gods watch over your battles, friend. The bandit leader at Orphan's Tear is dead, and I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. As you know, Here is your reward. By the war efforts. Thank Lady you. Eriker, you have a strong head for business. What do you suggest? This I is won't an forget what you've but done for Solitude. ebb in revenue. But as long as we continue to support the Empire, our sacrifices will be well rewarded. Listen to you. Be quick. Speaking of I have little patience for mundane You've consumers. never gone hungry a day in We your haven't life. met. I have so very many what? ways to deal with people. Very few. You are. Simple. Let the Empire fight hmm. its own war. With its own funds. And without what have you got for sale? So, you wish to master the arcane arts? My lady, surely you're not... No, I just wanted to see what you have for sale. would only leave us defenseless. Rebels would storm the palace in an afternoon.
Take care of yourself and always remember the, storm the world is ripe with people looking to spill the your Empire blood. Empire uses Skyrim as its personal larder. The more they take, the more support the rebels gain. All right, that I don't think I'm going to have time to I will search for I another mission. I think it's now or never for the Emperor. It's nearly time to collect taxes on your properties here. And the Dragonborn. We'll need to visit each home for inspection. <laughs>